Where have you been? Weekly steam shower with H.R. Pepper. You all right? Armed men attacking this building while you're off You're doing... making me nervous. We're bringing in contractors, Tony. Private military. Anybody. As many soldiers as we can get. No. Simple logic. We're gonna destroy our inventory. I'm sorry, what did you just say? Listen. They attacked us because they wanted the inventory stored here, so it's obvious. No more weapons. No more attacks. No! Absolutely not! Opinion noted, Obi. But I am telling you, do it. Come on, Pepper. Tony, what's happened to you? Pepper, listen. I never should have made it out of that cave. Now I know what I have to do. I don't understand. My life's work, everything I've built, countless lives ruined by my inventions, I have to destroy them. You can't do this alone. It's too much. I don't have a choice. Make sure Obi does what I told him. He'll need convincing. Look, I, I have to go on a business trip. What trip? Th there's nothing on your calendar. Just came up. Pack me a bag, will you? So, this is it? Yes, sir. Location confirmed. The men who attacked Stark Industries fled here. Scans indicate that this is a weapons storage facility. Cool. Can't wait to blow it into a million pieces. Let's find those weapons. We're looking for weapons, Jarvis. Shipment, storage, anything like that. Seven storage facilities detected, sir. Cash destroyed. Six remaining. Nice. Think I can handle these guys, Jarvis? Indubitably, sir. Oh, now that is an explosion. Weapons cash destroyed. Five remaining. Sir. American military forces detected in the vicinity. No problem. By the time they realize I'm here, I'll be long gone. Weapons cache destroyed. Four remaining. Well, I guess not all the weapons are in storage. Oh look, they have things that go bing, bang, and boom. Feels like home. You'll notice that, in spite of complaints that this game does not control very well, I'm able to easily hover inside this small area and back out with no issue. Jarvis, scan those Magia vehicles. Weapon systems are based on Stark Industries technology, sir. I knew it! Only way they could charge a premium, though. In case you're not quite following what happened here, the people who attacked Stark Industries had a Magia insignia on their vehicles and weaponry. So we traced them back here to take them out, but back here turns out to be a Ten Rings base, which means that Magia sold Ten Rings technology and weapons. But we just found out that the technology Magia has been selling them is stolen from Stark Industries. So Magia has been using the Stark weapons they acquired to manufacture their own Stark weapons. This means that even if we take out all of Magia's Stark weapons, they'll still be able to make more. They might be knockoffs, but they do the same thing. So the only way to put an end to this is actually to take out Magia completely. I'm sure Tony's realizing this right now, even if he's not saying anything. Detected advanced Stark weapons being loaded onto trucks, sir. Oh, busted. Where are they? There's always room for the surgery. Convoy trucks emerging, sir. Mark. Affirmative. Warning. The blast radius will be extensive. Well, yeah, I made them. So now that Ten Rings has figured out what we're up to, they're trying to get their weapons out of here, but luckily we're, you know, Iron Man. How's my heart doing, Jarvis? Functioning normally, sir. You know, Jarvis, by all rights, I should be dead. Yes, sir. I've been given a second chance, and look, I'm using it to kick some ass. Do not understand our speaking reference, sir. I'm going to give you some kind of personality, Jarvis. If nothing else, this is a good excuse to take out Ten Rings. I mean, we probably want some payback to them for what they did to Jensen. I suppose that is partially our fault as well, but that's why we're trying to atone for our sins right now. 
You'll notice I've had my power routed to thrusters pretty much this entire time, and that's because nothing we need to shoot during this section is heavily armored. So getting from place to place is a lot more important. You'll also probably notice me taking a lot of missiles up the ass, which tends to happen. So like I said, even though Magia didn't directly attack our base, we have to go after them anyway because they're manufacturing Stark weapons and we want our weapons gone. We won't contribute to the world's suffering anymore. We're beyond that. And to be beyond that, we have to blow it all up. We have to kill everything that we used to represent. You know, Jarvis, I think Magia didn't just sell these guys' weapons. They must be working with them. Okay, now I'm sure. Unit has heavy armor and multiple weapon pods. Suggest targeting exposed weaponry. Finally, a challenge. So not only is Magia remaking Stark weapons with their own little touches, they're creating entirely new weapons, probably with Stark technology. That's no good. As soon as we get over to the Dreadnought, we want to reroute our power to weapons, and we want to stay beside it and above it. If we stay above it, it won't be able to deal too much damage to us as long as we constantly dodge to the right to stay with it. If we get too far behind it or in front of it, it'll, uh, it'll pound us to death. U.S. military aircraft incoming, sir. What are my options? Payloads are Stark Sparrow missiles. The irony kills me. Only options are to engage or surrender, sir. Surrender? Are you kidding? Charlie Two Zero, come back around. Brody. Charlie Two Zero, come again. You did not read. Not Charlie, Brody. It's me, Tony. Tony, is that you? What are you doing on this frequency? It's me out here, Rody. What the hell are you doing, Tony? I'll explain everything. Just, you know, don't shoot me, all right? Sir, suggest engage an incoming aircraft. What are you nuts? I can't just shoot at American pilots. This is nuts. Drivers, I'm gonna grab them. I cannot condone that decision, sir. Yeah, well, you don't have a conscience, Jarvis. So this is one of my favorite optional hero missions. We either have to destroy or eject the pilots. Now it's a lot easier to destroy them provided you don't have a conscience. To eject the pilots you simply have to press the grab button when they get close enough and then steer their uh, aircraft toward the ground where it will explode. Now the funny thing is I've never seen anyone do this objective without killing the pilots. Everyone I've seen play this game has always shot the pilots down. And that is very depressing. Now, I do understand that a lot of people find this game difficult to control and hard to play. But all I am doing here is pressing the circle button when the pilots get close to me. Look, that guy wasn't even that close. You also get extra money to buy more upgrades if you don't kill the pilots. You know, in case not killing innocent people wasn't incentive enough for you. Ejected safely, sir. What's your blood alcohol level, Tony? What in the hell are you doing? Just out for a stroll, Rudy. I'm only gonna say this once, Tony. Stroll out of my airspace now. <laughs> Funny, you caught me on my way out. 